Irritable Bowel Syndrome, or IBS, is a functional bowel disorder impacting about 11% of the worldwide population. Most IBS patients suffer from abdominal pain, distension, bloating, stool irregularities, and additionally flatulence, fullness, or cramps. Up to 30% of patients may experience symptoms of IBS overlapping with symptoms of functional dyspepsia. In the bowel, altered motility can lead to changed bowel habits, diarrhea and constipation, bloating, spasms and abdominal pain. Symptoms of venous disease vary depending on severity and may include itching, swelling, cramps, pain and legs that feel restless or heavy. The most severe form of untreated varicose veins is an ulcer. The major risk factor for venous disease is genetic predisposition. Combined with other factors, such as prolonged sitting or standing, obesity, advanced age, or pregnancy. There is an unmet medical need for coping with daily stress and reducing the effects and incidence of these disorders. There are three main interrelated players regulating stress. The limbic system, the autonomic nervous system and the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. As part of the limbic system, the amygdala plays a crucial role in mediating the body's response to stressors. The autonomic nervous system allows for a rapid stress response within seconds and is characterized by the secretion of adrenaline. Every day, I release a small amount of a hormone called levonorgestrel directly to the spot where it's meant to work, the uterus. This makes the mucus in the cervix thick and tough, which prevents the sperm from reaching the egg. Assessments took place after a single intake and again after two months of daily treatment. Participants completed tasks simulating the energy-demanding activities of a typical busy lifestyle. Using indirect calorimetry to measure oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide output, energy production was quantified. The first assessment method, functional magnetic resonance imaging, measures blood oxygen levels in the brain during cognitive task performance to show in detail which areas are activated. The other method, steady state topography, determines changes in the brain's electrical activity throughout different cognitive task sequences and shows with high precision when the brain is active. To date, 10 tumor-specific characteristics have been explored. These hallmarks of cancer describe how the tumor ensures its unlimited growth, possesses altered properties, influences the immune system and establishes its own supply of oxygen and nutrients. To guarantee a sufficient supply, the tumour is able to trigger a process called tumour angiogenesis, 